Well, welcome to Johnny Stewart and friend, friend. I have a friend here with me, Devonair. Hey, Is what's that happening? Right? That's right. Is that right? Okay. Debonair. And Debonair happens to be, he's been in a lot of shows, done a lot of stuff with everybody in the past. I've worked with him uh, and so forth. And right here is a brochure of a show that you're starring in now. You're standing right over here. Yeah. And this is called America's Greatest Soul and Motown Impersonations, Impersonators, okay? And it's right here at the Bally's in the Window Showroom, right? Mm -hmm. Window okay. Showroom, yes. Right. And you That's are a maniac in that show. A maniac. <laughs> Well, I, I practice. I don't can't. I can't believe they don't lock you up. No, they can't lock me up. <laughs> they they, they need you. Out. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So, and over here we got the other side. Here we got the beautiful girls. We got you again here. Mm -hmm. We got all this this whole wild show here, and this is solid gold. Now, solid gold soul. Yeah. All right. Now that is how many nights a week? It's only five shows a week, right? Yeah, five nights a week from okay. Thursday to Monday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Monday. Mondays at 5:30 to 7. The rest of them are from 7:30 to 9. Okay, except for Monday, that one's at 5:30 to 7. Yes. And the rest of them are from 7:30 to 9. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday 5:30. That's right. The other one 7:30. 7:30. Okay, That's and right. this is a energetic wild show partly because of you but everybody's pretty energetic aren't they oh yeah we yes. all we, you all we, put we, out we uh you know we take pride in putting energy out because we don't have the special effects that a lot of the shows on the strip have you know we don't have the trapeze artists and all that that's right so we got to use our sweat that's how you get out there effect. and you do it and, and you actually give it everything you got everything everything and maybe then some well i yeah. give it all and Nanette Barbera, she choreographed it and put it yes. together. And they're there with Ken Walker, right? Ken Walker's the owner of the theater. Uh, he's the, the owner of the theater. Uh, yeah. Lane. Right? Yeah, they're the owners. And sometimes you have to get Ken Walker and, and put a net over him because he wants to be in the show so bad. Well, he wants to, you know, be on it. But oh. he's, he's, <laughs> he's a good man. He's a good man. He, he's doing his part. By that's staying. right. Everybody's doing their part. Okay, so when you can, you want to go see Solid Gold, but that's not the only thing, and we'll talk more about that. Remember, it's five days a week, Thursday through Monday, and it's every night at 7.30 to 9, except for on, on the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but Monday it's at 5.30. Yes. Now, what other shows are in that showroom? We want to give Ken Walker a plug here. There's other shows that actually manipulate and demonstrate their beautiful talents in that particular showroom. What are those shows? Oh, they have a particular show that interests me really it's called Paranormal. Paranormal. It's, he is amazing, isn't he? This guy is amazing. He reads your mind, tells you about yourself. I'm kind of scared of him. He's really. scary. Oh, yeah, yeah he's scary. You don't want to do he anything. He may read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, may, so that's Paranormal. Is that normally at 5 o'clock? I think it's 4. 4. 4, yeah. four o'clock. Paranormal. Four. Yeah, Great four show. Great show. Just call Window Showroom for mm -hmm. tickets, right? Exactly. Window Showroom at Ballet's and get the different shows. Now, they have more shows than that. Do you know another one yes. or two of the shows okay, they have? they have another show called The Bronx Wanderers. The Bronx so, Wanderers. There's a group show, of guys that sing. group of guys from the East Coast, from New York, like Street Corner Doo Wop and a band and father and son team, and they come up and another energetic show. They're they, good, aren't they? They're really good. Right. They, put they, all, they give it their all every night, seven days a week. Get right in here for me. Yeah, okay. seven days a week. I commend them because okay. that's a lot of work seven days a week. But, hey, we love what we do. But they, you we all love what, what you do, and everyone's trying to do it. Is there another show other than that? So we got Paranormal, yes. we got Bronx Wanderers, and we have Solid Gold. Then you have so. the exotic Fifty Shades. If oh, you ever yeah. seen the movie, go see the show, Fifty Shades. And Fifty Shades is also comedy Mixed in with a little eroticism. And that's you know. normally later. That's around 10 o'clock or so, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, 9. That's at 9? Nine. Nine, yeah, 9. That's right after you guys get through your 7.30 show, and so they go on at like 9.30. They're they on at 9. A lot of shows there under Ken Walker right here. This exactly. is Solid yes. Gold, Ballets, but this is one of the most energetic shows in the city. Okay, the well put together, energetic. well choreographed, great costuming. Hey, listen, you don't want to miss a show. This is a great show. This is an entertaining show, right? That's right. That's right. And you were there. You've seen I was there. I've been there and, a couple of times. And you were definitely, when I first got here, not to mean to cut you off, when I first got to town, I was getting with Legends and Constant. And That's right. You own. That's right. So you gave me my first go around here. Okay, buddy. And listen. I never gave up. 
and here I am giving you're, it back to you. And you're still <laughs> doing it, and you're sitting here on the TV show. And every time I threw tomatoes at you when I was there the other night, somehow you missed them. I guess you were moving too much. I was much. moving too fast. Yeah. You know, that's I think you swallowed one. Hey, I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you I lose are, a lot of weight doing that, so I have to now get Now, where it did the name Debonair come from? What is that name? Well, I, I, I like the name because it, you know, fr I was a big Fred Astaire fan. And he was debonair and well-dressed. Oh, yes. He could dance real good. He had a nice little body, you know, and... People you saw you're, you're describing sick. yourself. That's I'm what you're doing. Me. That's what you are. So I That's like why the you're name. debonair. Right. And coming to Vegas, you know, of course, you know, you want to. And you sing in groups as well. You guys do a group in the show. Besides doing James Brown, yes. which is your main character, right? You also sing in the group, four and that tops. is the temp four tops. We do four tops and Temptations. Okay, both four yeah, tops and both. Temptations. Pete Peterkin's in there, and Grady's in there. Grady, Grady, and, and uh, Grady Harrell, what's his name? T. Pete Peterkin and Tal Thomas Pearson. Tal, T A L, yeah. isn't it? T A L, Tal. That's yeah, right. Tal. Yeah, yeah. and. Uh, uh, Pete Peterkin, now in the show, he does mainly Ray Charles, he and he also Ray does Charles the Four and Tops and the, tempt, and the Tim, uh, Four Tops and the Temptations. Yes, right. And uh, then you have also a Tal. He does mainly Smokey Robinson. He's Smokey Robinson. Yeah. He's one of the Flames. Right. One of the famous Flames. And then and Grady, also. he does. Uh, uh, he does Jackie, Jackie Wilson. Wilson. The great Jackie Wilson. Yeah, and he and also Sam. does uh, Sam Cooke. He's so a great. You guys Sam. got all these, and then you have. The beautiful lady that does... Uh, Dion Warwick. Dion Warwick. Her name is Victoria Beckham. Victoria. Yeah. Beautiful Victoria. She's You're beautiful. The cast. Yeah. And uh, she's doing a great job. That's right. A yeah. great job. You got some great people in there, some great dancers. Boy, and uh, for it's not a large room, but you guys really make the most of that stage. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, uh, it, it could put us anywhere, and we'd make the most of it. That's because right. Because we love what we do. Yeah, but they gave us an opportunity to be in that small room. That's but, right. But uh, we've made it intimate. And Annette has those girls out there dancing and all over that stage all the time. I mean, they really put out too those dancers. Well, they got work four beautiful girls that put out. Then everyone because they're dancing and prancing for everybody. So That's they right. get a little rest here and there. Then they have to do costume changes, hair changes. It could be pretty rough. You know, That's right. Injuries you, come up. You know, you still got to get out there and smile. You guys go in and off that stage so many times. It's it's just awesome. Why don't we show a little bit to an audience? We have a little bit of Solid Gold Soul right here with us. Okay. And we're going to show that. We're going to flip it over here so we can watch it while it's happening. We won't be able to hear it, but our audience will. And then you and I can talk about it. Okay. That's okay. Fine. Here we go. Scott, it. we're uh, ready for uh, you to roll it.
Well, now that gives the audience a little idea of how crazy you are. That's right. I'm a, a lot of people have called me and said you should be locked up. Oh, really? But somehow you're out right now. Your parole officer says you're out on good behavior, but it's probably only going to last a day or two. That's right, because I'm on my way to the Apollo Theater <laughs> to act more crazy. Uh, hey! Okay, now the show also, Nanette Barbera, she took off for uh, Reno that's opening up in Reno as well at Harris. Yes. Is it the true. same thing, a solid gold format? Uh, or is it a different show? A little different show because it's not going to have James Brown, of course. Right. Jackie Wilson. Well, you Sam can go Cook. back and forth every day. I mean, you, you can uh, you get in a fast jet. I don't think so. Oh, you don't? No, no, no they don't have it. <laughs> the, the, the paper ain't right. <laughs> oh, the paper ain't. Okay. Well, you guys are doing such a great job. Now, tell me, how long have you been in Vegas, uh, Debonair? On and off. Every summer I try to leave because it's too hot. Undi but you're, you're here now. But I'm here because I'm working. Because you're working in a show. Right. If I wasn't working, I'd be back in San Diego, California, where uh, the weather is, it cools is off. Is that where night. you're from, San Diego? Well, I was born there, but I was raised in the Bay Area. I Oakland. love San Diego. In fact, yeah. I'm going there in a couple of weeks on a vacation, actually. Really? Yes. And where about? I'm just going to go down, and I love to paint the things of San Diego, and I go from San Diego down to Laguna Beach and into Newport Beach. I'm from Newport Beach, really? Orange County area. Okay. Yeah, that's where I came from 35 years ago. I came here to open Legends in concert 35 years wow. ago. Wow, 35 you know? years ago. That's right. Well, I kicked it over in Coronado a lot. Yeah, you know, oh, Coronado's yeah, great. Beach. You know, see, they got the beach. They don't have the beach here. But well, you do if you if you put enough water in your bathtub and use your creative <laughs> mind. There's enough beach. Put a little sand in there, you know. <laughs> well, back to your question. I've been here since '97. '97. Came here in '97. What was the first thing you started when you came here to Las Vegas? Well, I performed with uh, Denise Clemente. If you ever heard. Oh, of I love Denise. Was, yes, I she do. gave me my first break. And then you gave me my second break. Okay. Well, thank you. Did Denise, Denise have you do a, 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 your solo yourself, or did you were you with a group? What were she, you with? I was with her group. She she let, gave me free reign to do the choreography for her, and then she leave the stage, and then she let me have my own. Platform. Did you ever do Sammy Davis? Well, of course, man. That's the main person. That's right. I was Sammy when I first came here. I used to be with Steve Byers production. Oh, Steve Byer. Yeah, and he did. He's stuff. a very dear friend of mine. Well, hey, he's a friend of mine too, and Sammy. Yeah, yeah and if he's a friend I was of Sammy. <laughs> okay, so you did that. Groovy. So you've done all of the good stuff, you know. Plus, you do yourself. I do me. How old were you when you started in this business, Devin? Uh, since ever since I can remember, when I came up, my my grandmother was a performer. She sang and danced, and she always showed it to all of us. I come from a, a family of singers. Or want to be singers. <laughs> How many brothers and sisters you have? It's six of us. Six. I have nine brothers and sisters. Wow. And I got one brother, Rod, right now that's in the hospital down in St. George. We're going to give him a blessing. Well, we pray Rod, we him. bless you, buddy. We bless we you, We pray Rod. that you get better. Be healed. And that's right. In this beautiful, precious name of Jesus. Hey. Uh, Amen. Okay. Well, you got that healing right yeah. there, Rod. That should do it. Heal. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you. Go pick up Rod now. It's over. That's right. <laughs> that's Come on, Rod. Be calling us. We need to hear from we you. We need to know you're minutes. okay. Okay. That's right. But he's been in there about nine days. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of a little problem. He's got it, but he's going to get well, through no it. There's no more problem. We just spoke. We just fixed two it. Two or more gathering his. Hey, touch, touch. We just fixed you, Rod. He fixed. Okay. Yeah. Now, so now you're doing this show here, and what all have you done since you've been in Vegas? You want to expound on some of the great stuff you've done? Because you've been a, a headliner doing shows and, and manipulating the, the audiences and entertaining for a long time here in Vegas. Yes, I've uh, had my own group, which was called the Debonair Experience. I, I was with a group called uh, Class One and, uh, for a few years. That was fun. And uh, on, on the flip side of that, I went to Germany. I've been to London. Been to Brazil. Did you go to Germany with Bernhard Kurtz? Bernhard Kurtz. Yeah, I'm, I, I put that show in concert. there. Yeah, yeah. I went there and put that show in about about uh, 29 years ago. And I remember that. I remember him mentioning your name. Yeah, well, yeah. I love Bernhard Kurtz. So yeah. that that show's been there at the Estrell Theater now Estrell. for 29 years. And I love the Estrell Theater. Oh. Yeah. 
Wow. They they have it holds about eight hundred people. And they and get eight hundred. Yeah, they Seems do like it all almost every night. night. Every yeah, night, five six nights a week. Right. It's amazing. Okay, so for all the cast over in Germany, let's give them a big hey, kiss. Whatever, we love you over there. I want to come back. Yeah. Come on now. Bernhard, call this guy call back. Me. He wants to come back. I do Sammy Davis, man. I yeah. do James Brown mainly. He does an James unbelievable Brown James Brown. In fact, we're going to show you more of what Devonair does as soon as our friend Scott rolls another video on there for us because we want to see more of you. Okay. Most people that I know can't get enough of Devonair. Well, hey, now. Okay, here we go.
Well, we are back here with this wild man, Devonair, uh, who has been the one-man showcase entertainer here in Las Vegas for, uh, been here since 1990 what? 97. 97. That's man, right. 97. you didn't even look like you're 14 years old yet, but there you are. must be at least that. At least. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And pack on a few more. <laughs> so what's, what's your main goal? Now, we're seeing this great entertainment on the screen. We've been watching you and so forth. What goals have you not quite hit yet that you're trying to reach? Okay, I, uh, right now I'm in the, in the studio, recording studio. You know, I'm recording my album, Devin Nair is Lonely at the Top. And your record store is coming right up. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, anyhow, yeah, I want to record. I want to put a video out with me dancing in my style and what I do. You know, and I'm, a, I'm about love, you know. I, I, okay, are you going to put a video out, Devonair, a video out about you or about uh, James Brown or a combination no, of everything or what? About me in today's setting, you know. I don't want to, I want to be rele relevant for today. And right. I ain't thinking about yesterday. I do James Brown for a living. But I want to actually, before I leave this earth, put a record out and see what I can do. You know, I'm writing movie scripts also. I, you are? Yeah, I have a movie script about... Tell us about your movie script. Well, my movie script is built on robot dancing. Where I come from, Oakland, California, we we kind of do this robotic style of dancing. Well, do it do it for me right here. What are you talking about here? Yeah, I can show here. you, you know. All right, we show me out, here. You know, like a robot. Yeah? Show it, you know. Oh, my gosh, and do a little you, more of that. <sighs> That's awesome. And then you say... <laughs> Point. <laughs> then I come and sit down and <laughs> talk to you. Oh, that's awesome. But it's going to be little kids doing it. Yeah. I want little kids to, uh, a script, and it tells a story of making decisions in life. Instead of. Pull your chair this way a little bit. I don't want you to get out of the thing of the camera. There you go. Okay, so you're going to have little kids do it. So what's your goal behind all this? Well, it's, it's a message in the movie. It's your decision making. What's the name of this movie? Uh, Boogaloo. Boogie Wonderland. Like Boogie that. Wonderland. B-O-O-G-I-E Wonderland? Boogie Wonderland. There's no crime in this movie. There's no shootings, no killers. We, come, we, we solve all our problems with dancing. We dance against each other. Whoever the best. You got that little shake in you when you do that. That's oh, yeah, that's good. a little shake. Oh, you know? yeah, that, 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 little that's hit. what makes it look awesome. Yeah, see, I want to teach a lot of kids that little tick. If you see a little kid do it, it looks better than me. So I want to make it animated. So Instead you're going to be teach human, little kids to do it. And, exactly. and so the message of the movie is what? Your decision making, either you're going to be good or you're going to be bad. The decision, I want to put a decision in front of you. Do you want to pick this gun up or do you want to pick this book up? This is a decision there. I want to make the book look better than the gun in the movie. And it's also maybe uh, makes kids think about bullying. That they're, they're exactly. Gonna, they're going to kind of say, hey, I'd rather entertain somebody than beat them up. Than to beat them up. Entertainment, music, sports, it keep your mind occupied, keep you off of crime, keep you off of violence. You know, there's another way. You know, I've been, I, I've been there, been in crime, been in violence, but I know there's a better way. And I know if you put some dance, you put this in it. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> well, that's awesome you're doing that. So do you play an instrument also? Yes, I play drums, keyboards. I used to play the sax. but uh, So you're a one-man band. A one-man band. I do it all over my mouth. Ooh. I also do a little hand boning. You ever never heard of hand bone? No, no, no. Put those glasses down and show us that. I'm going to show you how the hand bone go. Okay. It goes like this. We're going to show us this now. Get back here where we can see you for good All now. Right, here we go. <laughs> I love that. Man, you beat yourself to death. A little hand bone. Yeah. <laughs> so hand boning and boogie and robotics. A robot, that's right. Yeah, that's right? That's right. Okay. Well, you, you'd kind of do a little bit of everything. because they, You don't even need an instrument. Your body is the instrument. My body is the instrument. It but, is. hey, when I get down, when it gets down to it, if they don't have enough economics, then I'll be the one-man band, the singer, the dancer. I'll be it all. Now, you're going to teach Danette Barbera how to <laughs> teach all the dancers in your show the hand boning and, and maybe the robots? Well, 
She got her hands full in Reno. She she has her hands yeah. full in Reno, and then she's gonna come back and here she comes and back, do it again. She'll do it again. But by that time, maybe my movie will be out, or maybe we'll be the preliminaries of the movie because I'm serious about it. So, so how do you approach? How do you approach getting a movie out? I mean, who are you talking to, and how do you do that? Did you do you make some kind of a of a synopsis of the movie, and do you do some video on it? How do you how do you get somebody get interested in a movie? Uh, that's a good question because that's the question I be asked. How do I get my script? How do I get the, to first base? I know a few people in the music industry. I mean, in the movie industry, but at the same time, you know they. They out for themselves. Right. Well, I know a few people, and maybe I can help you do that. Well, yeah, hey, we, I would appreciate you. Do you that. have some kind of a mock-up thing already fixed to send out to people? Do you have uh, a, a no, video? No, all I have is a script. Uh huh. And all of the ideas is right here in my head. Right. You know? Right. So That's what you need. I do have a script. I got about five or six pages already written. I got a little dialogue. I, is this a, f a movie for the movie theaters, or is it an educational movie? What type of movie is this? I want it to be at the movie theater. I want to go to Pixar Pictures, Disney Pixar, and make it a movie like Cars, you know, something like that. Yeah, Appeal yeah, to yeah. kids exclusively. There'd be no cussing in it. It would be you won't see nobody die or nothing. Like, I know that's not realistic, but... Hey, it's a movie. So they don't beat themselves with this hand boning. They don't kill themselves. No, well, it'll be a hand boner in there, too, because I got different uh, characters. That every every character in the movie has their own theme song. Oh. We, the, yeah, the, the main yeah. kid name is Pickle. Okay. So when he comes now, through, he'll have his own little theme. Uh, sing, sing us one of those songs in the movie. Well, sing us one. It'll be, for instance, uh, you heard of the movie Shaft, right? Yes, absolutely. All right, if we won't use Shaft because... We'd have to pay Shaft now. That's right. For so that. so, we so have I, I, I want to hear a debonair approach to the movie. Give us a okay, little song. Okay, if, 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 if Little Pickle come through, when you see him come through, he'll have some music. Boom, bop, boom, 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 bop. Hey, my name is Pickle. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, and then they'd have another character. He might come through. He might, his character might... He might be big and strong. You might hear boom, 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 boom. Hey, what yeah. You, what you got on my 40? <laughs> <laughs> so you're making up these characters based upon your ability to move and be creative and do all this and stuff. And people I've met in the past. Yeah. I, I've got a lot of characters in it from people I've met that I already know, and I'm going to use some of their characteristics. Yeah, some of the things that they've insinuated and inspired you to do and you, you, they, do. you kind of exaggerate it and move on and do a little exactly. character out of it. Yes, yes. That's awesome. So okay. I want to go from me and then when I step into the movie then it'll be animated. So everything is animated so that means every movement is, you know, extraordinary. Because, you know, I can do more in animation than a human Have you body. ever had your own one-man show? Just me out there by myself? Yeah, by yourself out there. Uh, you got a lot of talent. I think you could do that. Well, hey, you, with your help. Yeah, you could do yeah, uh, all this moving around and all this crazy stuff you got going and add some video screens to that to uh, accentuate what you're doing live and do all that stuff and do a whole show. Right. You, you could do your own show easy. Well, thank you. Well, yeah. I do comedy. You know, I'm That's what comedy, I'm saying. So I wanna you would do a physical, together. animated, uh, choreographed comedy. Wow. Yeah. I never thought of that. Yeah, you could do that big mm. time. Yeah. And oh, right. uh, you're already doing a great job in uh, Solid Gold Soul. You're doing a great job. Everybody over there is doing a great job. Everybody's worked hard on that. And mm -hmm. doing. I want to make sure my audience knows once again, once Solid again. Gold Soul. Don't go miss that. Here it is right here. That's over at the Windows Theater. At the uh, Bally's. At the, yeah, Windows Theater at Bally's under Ken, right? Ken Walker. Ken, Ken Walker, Walker and his wife. Yes. Okay. And uh, they are uh, the owners of the theater lease there mm -hmm. yes, and uh, you can see solid gold soul Thursday through Monday uh, Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday it is at 7 30 mm -hmm. and okay. it goes till nine o'clock about an hour and a half show big show live variety all kinds of stuff you guys just kill it 
You guys are just deathly. You never let a second go by, and the net has those guy people jumping and doing their thing, and it's all great. Yes, okay, sweet. so then and and right now she's uh, in uh, Reno, even putting another another something similar to it at Harris, right? Yeah, Harris yeah. Casino, yes. Yeah, and uh, it's gonna be actually, hot also. solid gold actually came from Reno. That's the first place it was yeah, put together. Yeah, started at uh, at the Nugget, John Esquire's Nugget. Yeah. The show you and just saw and the Facebook. fact the Nets done several shows at John Esquaga's Nugget with me with Legends. Oh really? Yeah, several oh, I, shows. I didn't know that. Yeah, she did. Yeah, and also here's these beautiful people on the back here, all singing and doing their thing. A lot of energy in this show, more than most shows you're ever going to see. Is right? Yeah, it's it's a killer. And you are the epitome of energy. You just go out there and blow everyone's mind. <laughs> you do. You're awesome. Thank you. Okay. And so right now we're going to do another video of you. I want to see this other video because I want to make sure everyone gets to see you, how you are and what you are, because you are fantastic. Thank you. I okay? appreciate it. We're going to see it right now. Uh, Scott's going to pull this video up. Wow, I'm telling you, the show is great. You got to know that. You got to experience that. But right now, I want to make sure that you and I understand. Now, besides this one movie, are you working on what other things you're working on? Because the more you sit here, the more I find out all this crazy stuff you do. You should have been locked up. Now, now I find out I can't believe you're out. Okay, but what other things are you working on? Well, like I said, beside my music and being in the recording studio, 
Are you right? Well, you say your music. Are you writing your own songs? Yeah, I write my own songs. Uh, with uh, collaborators. What song have, have you written? Have you have you recorded some of them? Yeah, I've, I've recorded many songs over the years, and um, one, a few songs got out, but you know it didn't do very much. But you know it ain't worth mentioning right now. Well, get, get, sing me your favorite song. Well, one of my favorite songs is it's a song I wrote for my mother. It's called. Well, that's an awesome she, thing. She's my hero. She's my hero? Shero, not hero. Oh, she's my shero. Yeah, you know. Ah, that's a play on words I got. Yeah. Sing and, a little bit of that for me. Says, Just as soon as I can, I'm going to make amends. I was falling away from you, doing what I want to do, saying to take control of me. I was so blind. Mad, bad, confused, and misunderstood, yeah. When everybody out there really loved me, I never got a chance to say I'm sorry. I'm on my knees, begging you, please, please, Lord, give me your love. Give me your love, a copy of love. I know you're more and more my hero. Woo! Oh, yeah. Thank you, mother, mother, mother. <laughs> now, because you looked up then, and I say this with all due respect, is your mother not here anymore? She's not here. Yeah, neither are my parents here. No, but I know they're there, don't we? Ago. You and I both know they're up there somewhere. Oh, she's there. Every night I go on stage, I look up, and I say, to my grandmother who told me never to quit, and to my mom, who's always been my backbone and always stood by me even when I didn't believe in myself. Okay, now what did your she grandmother did. tell you? Never give up. Never what? You said something different. You said never, never? quit. Okay, look, look right here. What's that say? What's that say on there? Never. Never quit. That's what it says. Never quit. I wear that. It's just a little thing that just reminds me no matter what in life. Let me, we can both give these people a little thing and say, never, never quit. quit. Never. No matter how okay. old you are, no matter That's what you've been through. Yeah. I've been through the ringer. I've yeah. been there and back. Yeah. You know, I make this look good. I've had now, my but. turn as well. <laughs> okay. But never quit. Never quit. Never quit smiling. Never quit loving your neighbor. Never quit loving your family. That's right. Never quit loving yourself. Ne right? Never quit. Love Be yourself. true to yourself. That's right. Right? Exactly. And this is good. Believe We're you. sharing this with people. Yes. Because that's in the entertainment business. And what we do, there's good nights and there's bad nights and there's good feelings and bad feelings. But somehow in there, you never quit, do you? Never and quit. you never quit admiring other people for what they do. For what they you do. honor and respect everybody. And that's what this world should really be about, shouldn't it? Basically, okay? he's saying, don't hate. Congratulate. <laughs> Don't hate, congratulate. That, that's right. That's a good rhyme. That's right. That's good. Don't okay? hate, congratulate. And it sounds like this movie that you're doing is along the lines of making people feel better and making kids a kind of get involved with uh, with music and with dancing and with things that would excite them. That sounds like that movie. Yeah, well, that would make people happy. You know, when I was a kid coming up, we didn't have all the video games and everything. We made up our own games on the street. That's you know, it. I go see... Uh, Whatever. We did it all on the street. We made it up and we had fun. That's now right. we're in the house too much. Yeah. Too much time in the house. I don't mind the devil workshop, so get out the house. <laughs> now, right now, I want to tell you that I've had a good friend here, Debonair. Yeah. He's been on the show here, and we've talked about him and his career and this great show he's in right now. And this great show is called Solid Gold Soul. Yeah. It's at the Windows Theater at Bally's. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 7.30 to 9. And on 9. Monday at what time? Monday's at 5.30 to 7. 5.30 to 7. Yes. And it's a beautiful show. Tons of energy. Tons of excitement. It's a great show. It's a Ken Walker and his wife's name. I forgot her first Helene. 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 Yeah. H-E-L-E. Okay. Helene. E -N -E. Yes. Okay, sorry, Helene. But it's a great show, and you guys are great, and your sponsor some other good shows there, too. You want to look into all the shows, the Paranormal. Mm, wow, that's, paranormal. that's one oh, of the guys. best shows in town, too. Yeah. Yeah, so he's uh, uh, Helene, right? Helene. And, and also, uh, Ken has picked some really great shows and do it. So don't miss Solid Gold Soul. And also, watch this guy's talent as he goes around. Devonair, he's been here since 1990. 97. 
97. Yeah. And uh, so uh, he's going to do a lot more things. It's a great cast. It's a great thing. And we compliment and appreciate everyone that's in that show and everyone that put it together. And we appreciate everybody. And I appreciate you, my good buddy. Thank and you. And we're here. And, and you're going to have a great big career. Huh? Thank you. And I'm looking for some dancers out there. Dancers, singers, actors. And you and I have known each other about how long? Uh, who was you, that? you and I have known each other for... We, we since 98. 98. 98. One of your first breaks in Las Vegas was something one of we my, did. One of my first breaks from you. Well, first from you. Denise, second from you. All That's right. because I didn't know you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you take care, and I wish you and your show the best of uh, luck. And uh, we're going to support it every way we can. Thank and you. And we appreciate it. And all of you, the best of luck, and have a great... Week. Be Bye -bye. safe, everybody. All right.